Yo, yo, what's up? Just about to take a little run here to one of my favorite beaches here in Phuket. I've been here for a few weeks now and explored a bunch. And this one is one of my favorite. Here's what we're dealing with. It's called Serin Beach. And there's a restaurant on the beach over there. Audi restaurant. A bunch of these chairs set up right on the beach. They have a mixture of both healthy and uh, non-healthy food. You gotta be careful with in Thailand. The fried food is so good, the pad thai. The mango sticky rice is crazy, but I've been also eating healthy. I've been grabbing the papaya salads a lot. The fruit shake has arrived. So we have in here pineapple, mango, and banana. Fairly healthy, maybe a little too sugary, but it's all good. But yeah, look how chill this place is. It's a little bit more empty because it just rained, but it doesn't get too packed anyway, even when it's super sunny and the weather's nice all day. What I wanted to go through in this video was a particular question that a student emailed me the other day. And it's a question I haven't seen. I don't have a video on it. And so I wanted to make one. It has to do with odd versus even functions, characteristics of functions. And it's basically asking what conditions have to be present on the coefficients a, b, and c in order for the quadratic f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c to be an even function. So there's a couple of different ways that you can approach this question. We could think about this quadratic graphically and figure out how would this quadratic be an even function graphically, and we could also do it algebraically. Now, if you went through the lecture videos, which I'm assuming you did, we know that an even function graphically, it's symmetrical about the y-axis, an even function is. And so if we have a quadratic and it's going to be symmetrical about the y-axis, what does that mean about the quadratic? It means that the vertex has to be on the y-axis. Now, if you remember, when I first started talking about quadratics in the grade 10 videos, and more specifically quadratics in the standard form, we mentioned that if a quadratic is gonna have a vertex on the y-axis, or if the x value is gonna be zero of the vertex, the quadratic is always gonna be in the format ax squared plus c. And so notice that that bx term is not going to be there. And so one of the conditions is that the b value has to be zero because that would ensure that that middle term is not there and that our quadratic is in that ax squared plus c format. If you have a quadratic in the ax squared plus c format, the vertex is always going to be at the coordinate zero and c. The c value is going to be the y value of the vertex and then the x value of the vertex is always going to be zero. Now the a value, if you think about it, it doesn't really matter if the quadratic is going to open up or if it's going to open down. Either case, if the vertex is going to be on the y-axis, the quadratic is going to be symmetrical. So the a value can be greater than zero or it could be less than zero. It doesn't really matter on the direction of the opening. The only thing the a value can't be is zero because if the a value is zero, then we wouldn't even have a quadratic anymore. So the conditions on a is that it could be any real number, except it can't be zero. It could be positive, meaning the quadratic would open up. It could be negative, which would mean the quadratic would open down but it would still be an even function as long as that vertex is on the y-axis. And then finally, to talk about the c-value, the c-value actually would have no restrictions. The c-value can be any real number, including zero. So the c-value could be negative, meaning that the vertex would be below the x-axis. It would have a negative y-value. The c-value could also be zero, which would ensure that the vertex is going to be at the origin, at the coordinate zero and zero. And then the C value could also be positive, meaning that the vertex would be above the X axis or the Y value of the vertex would be positive. So there are no restrictions on C. Now, if we looked at this algebraically, we know that an even function, F of negative X has to equal F of X. And another thing we mentioned is that an even function would only have even exponents if it's a polynomial which a quadratic is and it could also have constants and so notice that that bx term there's an x to the power of one and one is an odd number 
and so that exponent can't be there in order for the function to be even. So that's another way to look at it, that B value would have to be zero, and then notice that AX squared, V exponent is two, which is even. So that could be there, and then the C, which is a constant, that could be there as well. And if we test it with that algebraic condition of F of negative X equaling F of X, if we plug in negative x into ax squared plus c, we would end up with a negative x squared plus c, and then the negative x squared would just turn into positive x squared again, and we would end up with the original function ax squared plus c. And so we could tell that f of negative x is equal to f of x, and we know that when that condition is met, then we're dealing with an even function. All right, so that is it for that question. Hopefully that gave you a little bit more perspective on how to make a quadratic and even function. If you want more videos on even versus odd functions, I have a ton on my grade 12 advanced functions course page on my website, allthingsmathematics.com. You can go there. I have a bunch of examples where we have to show algebraically whether a function is even or odd or neither. I also go through an overview of what makes an even versus what makes an odd function. So you can go there, check those videos out for the rest of the curriculum. You could also hit me up if you need tutoring. I'm currently tutoring students all the time over Zoom, one-on-one. -on -one. My contact details are on my website, allthingsmathematics.com. You can also hit me up on my socials, basically all things mathematics on all of them, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, follow me, subscribe to the channel, and just hit me up and let me know if the uh, videos are helping you any other questions that you want to see any other questions that you're stuck on and i will see you in the next video i'm going to go get into this water now it's looking pretty nice so i will catch you in the next one peace